Fox 5 New York. This is Good Day New York. Well, hello there. Good day, New York. It is Tuesday, March 22nd. I'm Rosanna Scotto. And I'm Bianca Peters. We're going to be seeing a mix of sun and clouds today. Mike Woods coming up with the extended forecast shortly. The man accused of attacking a woman with his own feces has been arrested again. This time he's facing charges of criminal mischief and harassment after an incident in Harlem. Mayor Eric Adams wants to see more prosecutions of turnstile jumpers. He says that allowing fare evasion sends a signal that anything goes and contributes to the rise in crime. Police have identified a person of interest in a wild stunt that was caught on camera. Video shows a Tesla flying through the air before crashing into parked cars and gar garbage cans. It was a crazy video, that one. All right, well, the New York Mets, they are fostering a future service dog, but they need your help in giving the pooch a name. Fans can place their votes on the team's Twitter page. We'll tell you all the names coming up. So cute, though. Sweet. Okay, well, I guess Mr. Met's taken already, so they have to think of something else. <laughs> There's a couple ones. Some of them, I didn't, they didn't make sense to me, but, you know, we'll explain that a little bit later. All righty. Well, it's 7 o'clock. I think we're going to have another gorgeous day, Mike Woods. Put us in a good mood. It is. It's going to be pretty nice out there. The sun's out right now. The clouds that come through, not that big of a deal. So more sun than clouds today. Here's what it looks like right now. We did see some clouds that drifted over the area. Now it looks like more down to the south of the city, but still over the central sections of New Jersey. Not giving us rain. That's the bottom line. We've got 46 Central Park, 43 in White Plains, and uh, 30 degrees in Monticello. So your temps have continued to drop. A little bit of wind also coming through from the northwest at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So a little cool, a little breezy with just a few clouds. High pressure still in control. That'll keep us pretty quiet today. But you see this big mess down to our southwest. That will be coming through in about a day and a half, by mainly later tomorrow evening into the overnight hours. But today, you're fine with more sun in the morning, more clouds in the afternoon. High temp goes up to 59 degrees later on today. And as we go through the next seven days, we are looking at a high of 50 for you tomorrow with rain coming through tomorrow night. A nice soggy stretch coming up for us here. Maybe not so nice. Let's get over to Inez and see what's going on with the commute. Yeah, wet weather doesn't make too many people happy. No, not so nice though right now. Well, we're not dealing with that this morning. Not wet roads, just a couple of issues. Whitestone Bridge, you have a crash coming into Queens, so expect delays. Use of Throgs Neck Bridge instead. And the LA westbound has been a little slow coming in from the island. You have a stalled second one this morning over by the Cross Island Parkway, so expect traffic to be a bit busier there heading westbound. Let's go to our camera, see how things are moving over on the Gowanus. Not too bad. Stop and go. Typical heading towards the BQE. Rosanna and Bianca, back okay, to you. Okay, thank you so much, Inez. We appreciate that. So, let's talk about the man accused of one of the most disgusting crimes in recent memory is now back behind bars this morning. Yeah, 37-year-old Frank Abroqua, who is accused of shoving feces into a woman's face in the subway, has been arrested again on new charges. Fox Sox Kayla Mamlock is live in Harlem with more on this. Kayla, we're not surprised to see that this has happened again. Yeah, that's what we're hearing from a lot of people, Bianca and Rosanna. And prosecutors are now saying that Frank Abroca barged into this storage facility behind me here, threatened an employee, and chucked a dumbbell through the window. The incident, hardly the only violence he stands accused of. Despite more than 20 arrests, the 37-year-old has been released from custody repeatedly. That is until now.